children under thirst for money exposed in the royal family. Now, Prince Charles Duchy of Cornwall Estate is blasted by community in Sicily Isles as a money-making machine after it hiked annual rent on its land from a hundred pounds to seven thousand pounds. Now, my name is Brian, and welcome back to Sussex Squad Family TV on YouTube. Kindly like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. Now, listen up. Every single one of us from the UK or around the world, the royal family likes to preach to us about service. That every single thing that they do is about service. We all need to live a life of service. But when you hike rent for tenants from a hundred pounds to seven thousand pounds, what kind of example are you setting that royals live a life of service? Is this a life of service? Prince Charles, the man who stripped his own son of his security, son of a future king of England. Did you know, Sussex, what, that once upon a time, Prince Charles suffered an assassination attempt, meaning someone tried to take Prince Charles' life. But then here is Prince Charles with his money-making machine, Duchy of Cornwall. We heard in the Oprah interview Prince Harry saying the royal said that there is no money for Meghan. That Meghan should just go back to acting. They, but however, the royal family wrote articles, wrote statements using the UK tabloids and sent them out to the UK tabloids saying that Prince Harry and Meghan are very, very much loved members of the royal family. Now tell me, tell me Sussex Squad, does that seem to you like people who are much loved members of the royal family? Prince Harry, Meghan, Archie are much loved members of the royal family and will always remain much loved members of the royal family. Meanwhile, here they are telling Prince Harry, at home, Meghan should go back to acting. That's where she belongs. Let her go back to acting. I mean, no disrespect. Megan has had a fantastic career as an actor. She made $50,000 an episode. She lived an independent lifestyle. She had her own lifestyle blog, The Tig. Megan lived a happy, happy life. Not a single person ever accused her of bullying. Not a single person ever smeared her not a single person ever had something bad to say about megan before she met prince harry that's when the bullying began and let's be honest with one another megan has been through a lot she's been through a lot with this so-called family she has been through a lot with harry's extended family now and I'm glad that Megan is in the United States of America, living out a happily ever after in Montecito with her beautiful children, Archie and little bit Diana. Now, on this story, the man who told his own son there was no money for security to keep his wife and child safe, Archie and Megan, at the time, Prince Charles, person who says he loves his son so much. I believe Prince Charles, when Prince Harry was born, he went to play polo on the same same day. This person knows how to inflict emotional pain on others. If something Prince Charles knows how to do is to inflict emotional pain, as he did to Princess Diana. That's what he did and he's always, always done. That's what he's always, always done. And it's very, very sad. It's very, very sad. I must say, it's very, very sad to see what's happening. Very, very sad to see what's happening. 
Even Prince Harry said this, there's a lot of hurt and pain and something needs to be done about their relationship with Prince Charles. And he's been hurt a lot by Prince Charles after what he did. A father who wouldn't even pick calls for his own son. A son who was being harassed and bullied every single day. Watching his wife being insulted. And the only thing Charles could tell his son a long time ago is that you will also go through the same thing. It tells you there are two types of fathers. A Prince Charles type of father and a Prince Harry type of father. For Prince Harry, he says, if you've suffered pain, if you've suffered a cycle of hurt and abuse, you should do everything in your power to make sure your son does not go through the same thing. And then we have Prince Charles. He will tell his child this. I've gone through the same, this pain. And you will also go through the same, same pain. Two types of fathers. Harry's extended family. And Meghan, Meghan is blessed. She is blessed with an amazing husband. Just listening to Prince Harry's words right then and there, it shows you that Meghan is blessed. Now on this story, Prince Charles has been criticized for increasing rent for tenants on his freehold land with claims one went up from £100 to £7,000. Locals on the Isles of Sicily says the hikes by the Duchy of Cornwall are costing them a fortune and preventing them from buying their own land. The Prince of Wales owns and leases land on the archipelago, which is located around four miles south of mainland Britain. As the estate is freehold, locals can only occupy some properties as leaseholders, meaning they don't own the ground and are charged a nominal rent fee. Where is the outrage? Where is the outrage for someone who talks about service? Where is the outrage? Where? Every single person is silent. Every single member, carnival of so-called experts, is silent. Prince Charles has a charity and he does this to others during the pandemic. And listen up UK, if you live in the UK, Prince Charles treats his own son like this, very, very poorly and abhorringly. The same, same person treats his wife, Princess Diana, who lost her life in a tragic car accident, treated her abhorringly. And what will happen when Prince Charles become king, becomes the king of England? What will happen then? What will you do as the people of the UK having Prince Charles as your next king? With Camilla, his mistress, as your future queen. Charles says that the pandemic is a chance to reset global economy. Those are his words. But what happens when someone, a landlord in the UK, who is in charge of the Duchy of Cornwall, a money-making machine, decides to hike rent for tenants during the pandemic? What does that say about the future king of England? Leave a comment below telling me what you think about this developing story. With so much love from Sussex Squad Family TV, stay tuned for our next video and this marks the end of part one stay tuned for part two of prince charles hiking the rent for tenants from a hundred pounds to seven thousand pounds what type of king will prince charles become a failed husband a failed father and now a landlord who hikes rent in the middle of a pandemic. What does that say? What will he be when he becomes king? Now stay tuned for our next video. Hello, Sussex Squad Family TV on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed our video podcast today. Kindly 
like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Your support means the absolute world to us. Please like, like, and subscribe. Help us grow our family on YouTube. Stay tuned for our next video.